Hey y'all, so today I'm going to be doing the first chapter book tag. So it has been a while since I have actually even filmed a video. I moved into my new apartment a couple weeks ago and I started grad school this week, so I've been super busy, but I finally had the time to film a video. I don't know who created this tag originally, so I will leave a link to the original video either in the cards or down in the description for y'all. But the way that this tag works is that you pick a set of books, preferably five-ish, and you read the first chapter and give your opinions on it. Essentially, the point of it is to kind of pick up some books that you've been thinking about reading and figure out if you actually want to read those books in the near future. I discovered this book tag through Max from Well Done Books. I wasn't tagged, but I thought it sounded really cool and there are a ton of books that I've been meaning to get to for a really long time. So I figured that this would be a great opportunity and a great way to just read the first chapter, kind of get the feel of the book and see if I want to continue it soon. So how I'm going to be doing this is right now I'm going to be showing you the five books that I'm going to be reading the first chapters of and then after I read each first chapter I'm going to film a brief little chat about how I feel about that chapter and whether or not I will want to continue the book afterward. So that being said let's go ahead and jump into the five books that I will be talking about in this video. The first of these is House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. This is a book that I've been really curious about for a really long time and Kaz from The Little Book Owl picked this up and read it and had really great things to say about it and so it's been at the forefront of my mind for a while because of that and I just really want to see what it's about because it sounds really mysterious and after watching Stranger Things which really messed with my mind this is something that I've been heavily considering reading. The next one that I'm going to be reading for this book tag is Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. I've talked pretty extensively about how much I absolutely love Brandon Sanderson. He's one of my favorite authors, if not my absolute favorite author. And other than Words of Radiance, which is the sequel to The Way of Kings, this is his only adult book that I haven't read. This is cheating just a little bit because last summer I picked it up and read like the first 10-ish pages but honestly I can't remember anything that happened in those pages and I believe that the first chapter is longer than those first 10 pages so I will be delving into new territory and I don't even remember the stuff that I read last year so I am really excited to start this book and to see what I think about it. Spoiler alert, I'll probably love it. And so then these last three books that I have are books that have been super high up on my TBR for months or for years in some cases, and all three of them are super popular on booktube, so I've heard lots and lots of stuff about them. And I'm finally just going to go ahead and read the first chapters of them and see what I think. And the first of those is the one that I've been saying for years that I need to get to, and that is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass. This time I'm for real gonna be reading at least the first chapter of this book. I've been saying that I'm going to get to it soon for, like I said, at least a year if not two years, and I just finally need to get to it. I've heard so many things about this book over the years and like 90% of those things have been really positive, so I'm going into this with a really open mind and hoping to love it. And then next is another series that is very similar to Throne of Glass, in fact I equate them all the time in my mind and I'm pretty sure that they kind of like compete with each other in terms of popularity and are constantly compared to each other, and that is Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. If I'm being completely honest, I'm going into these two books expecting to like this one a little bit more, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the first chapter more. Once again, I've heard really awesome things about this book series, and I hope to really, really enjoy it. And then the fifth and final book is a book that came out in fall of last year and immediately became the darling of booktube. Everyone loved it. And that is Six of Crows by Leigh Bardugo. I've mentioned this a few times, but the fact that it is a heist story set in a high fantasy setting makes me think of The Final Empire by Brandon Sanderson, which is my favorite book that I've read since Harry Potter. So I'm going into this with some pretty high expectations. I have heard nothing but positive things about this book. I'm sure that negative reviews exist, but I haven't seen any of them. So I'm going into this hoping to really love it. So that is it for this section of the video. I'm now going to cut to future Kristen talking about the first chapters of each of these books. So I'm back for my first update and I'm actually super late on doing this because I read the chapter several days ago, 
but either way, the first book that I read the first chapter of was House of Leaves by Mark Z. Danielewski. So I'm not going to get too much into what the book is about because it's a very complex book and it would be very confusing to explain, but essentially, like I said, it's a very complex book. It has many layers and there are different kind of stories within stories. It's one of those books that has, like I said, many layers, but like footnotes and has some interesting formatting, so it's very complex in several different ways. Because of this, the first chapter isn't exactly a chapter, but more of a section to the book. This first section is actually only like 15 pages long, but it took longer than expected to read it because of how complex this book is. That being said, in spite of the complexity, or maybe even because of the complexity, I'm not really sure, I actually really enjoyed this first section. I definitely don't already feel like an immediate pull, like I have to read more of this book, but it does have me very intrigued, and it feels like it's going to be one of those books that's kind of a very slow-burning book that will gradually get more and more intriguing as it goes along. So I'm okay with the fact that it hasn't completely sucked me in so far, but I do expect it to be one of those books. That being said, before I planned on doing this tag, I did intend for this book to be my next read, and as of now, I definitely am still planning on doing that because it is something that has me very intrigued to continue on. So long story short, I did enjoy what I read of House of Leaves, and I do definitely still plan on continuing on in the book after I finish this tag. So I have just completed the first chapter of Throne of Glass, which is admittedly only like five pages long, but still, I have finished it. Obviously, since that first chapter was only five pages long, I'm not gonna pretend like I came out of this reading with some sort of, like, major insight into how good or bad the book might be. That being said, though, my first impression isn't the most positive thing in the world. Like, I didn't hate it, I didn't dislike it, but I thought that there were some things that seemed not quite as good as I expected. And the one thing that did stand out to me was that I felt the writing seemed a little bit cliche, especially in the actual dialogue between the characters. By no means was it the worst writing I've ever read, but given that the series is such a major deal on booktube, I guess I kind of expected a little bit more out of it. But like I said, I'm not going to pretend to judge the entire book off of those first five pages. However, after reading this first chapter, I don't think that I'm going to jump into this book immediately. So since I compared the two at the beginning of the video, I thought it was only fitting that my next first chapter should be Falling Kingdoms by Morgan Rhodes. So Falling Kingdoms actually starts out with a prologue, so I ended up reading both the prologue and the first chapter since that's kind of the rules of the tag. If I remember correctly, I said at the beginning of this video that I thought that I would probably prefer Falling Kingdoms to Throne of Glass, and I could not have been more right. Sure, I only read a prologue and a chapter, but I was incredibly drawn in to everything that was happening in both the prologue and the first chapter. Sure, I only read five pages of Throne of Glass and I read at least 20 pages of this book, so there's not a really solid comparison that can be made here, but I really enjoyed both the prologue and the first chapter of this. Hey, so I am back again after completing the first chapter of Elantris by Brandon Sanderson. So like I said at the beginning of the video, I had already read like the first 10-ish pages of this book, so only like five of the pages that I read were completely new, but it has been quite a while since I first picked it up, so it was a pretty good refresher because I didn't remember most of the things that happened. And overall, as I have come to expect with Brandon Sanderson books, I really enjoyed it. Brandon Sanderson is just really great at creating new worlds and making them seem real immediately and like getting you really intrigued and engrossed in this really interesting world. There was a prologue before the first chapter and it's one of those like very vague and very mysterious prologues and I really enjoyed that about it and it immediately got me into the world and engrossed me into the story. So yeah, as expected with Brandon Sanderson, this first chapter was awesome. And I'm not sure when I'm going to continue it, but 
I love Brandon Sanderson and I have loved all of the books that I've read by him so I will definitely be continuing it sometime in the near future if it's not immediately. Okay so I am back again for the last time after finishing the first chapter of Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo. So right after I bought this book I actually skimmed the first couple pages and I mean it's the first couple pages and you can't really you know base the whole judgment on the book off of those but I wasn't super intrigued right off the bat so I set it aside for a later date and after reading the full first chapter I can definitely say it's much more intriguing than I thought it would be. I feel like I sound like a little bit of a broken record at this point because I've said this about a few books but it had a really intriguing first chapter. It's also really interesting to see the way that these authors approach the first chapter because with House of Leaves the first chapter was very slow and plodding but intriguing. With Falling Kingdoms at first it was a little bit slower but then it ramped up at the end and the first chapter of Six of Crows was very similar to that. And then the first chapter of Elantris was kind of a little bit of everything, some intriguing world building and some more fast-paced moments and overall probably the most to me intriguing first chapter. And then there's the first chapter of Throne of Glass which I really don't know how to explain because it didn't really make any impact with me. So out of these five books I would definitely say that I still do plan on reading every single one of them but the one that least impressed me was the first chapter of Throne of Glass which I know is a little bit sacrilege but it's the only one where I had some sort of negative feelings toward it. Like I thought the writing was a little weak and even though it was five pages nothing happened that really interested me or made me like want to pick up the book and read more of it and to continue reading. Like I said I do definitely still plan on reading the book but it was definitely the first chapter that intrigued me the least. I'm not really sure where to place House of Leaves within this because it's so different from the other four because the other four are pretty firmly based in high fantasy and this one is more of a literary fiction slash mystery novel. So long story short it's a bit late for that. Um, all five of the books interested me in some form or fashion but the four apart from Throne of Glass are the ones that intrigued me the most and I'm not sure I could really pick one that seems like the standout favorite to read immediately. But overall even though I don't know if any of these are going to be my next read or which one I'm going to read first, I will say that all four of those books really intrigued me and I hope to get to them sometime in the near future. So that is it for the first chapter book tag. If you've read any of these books that I talked about today let me know down in the comments what you thought of them. I would love to hear your thoughts especially after reading these first chapters. But important thing to note is that I will have only read the first chapters so please don't spoil anything about these books for me because these are all legitimately books that I want to read all the way through in the future. As always I will leave links down in the description to my blog, Twitter, and Goodreads. Please add me as a friend on Goodreads. I would love to be friends with all of you. Like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!